Yeah, Fox News alert now. A body found in a heavily wooded area near where heiress Eliza Fletcher was kidnapped is now confirmed to be her. She was found about seven miles from where she was beaten and kidnapped Friday morning in Memphis. The suspect, 38-year-old Cleotha Abston, was identified and taken into custody on Saturday. He was expected to be in court at any moment, but that hearing has been canceled as additional charges are now being added for first-degree murder. Welcome to a brand-new hour of America's Newsroom. I'm Dana Perino. It's sad news yeah, indeed. Sure is. Dana, good morning to you. I'm Bill Hemmer. Police still not releasing an official cause of death. She was a kindergarten teacher. Eliza Fletcher went for her morning jog, as she does, very early, 4 o'clock a.m., uh, when she was attacked last Friday near the University of Memphis. Detectives saying that surveillance video shows the suspect aggressively running toward her, grabbing her off the street and forcing her into his SUV, leaving her phone and water bottle behind and some shoes with DNA matching the suspect. His cell phone signal placing him near the scene. We're going to cover this from all angles for you. Criminal defense attorney Philip Holloway, a former district attorney and former D.C. homicide detective Ted Williams and a Fox News contributor join us. But first, to Charles Watson, he is live outside the courthouse. He has the latest. And Charles, we just spoke to you an hour ago, and now we have this confirmation. Yeah, hey, good morning, Dana. Uh, yeah, we just got this confirmation from the Memphis police. They posted on Twitter that the deceased victim uh, that they located in the residential neighborhood in South Memphis yesterday evening is, in fact, uh, Eliza Fletcher. Uh, they also said in this uh, statement that they put out on Twitter that additional charges are uh, for 38-year-old suspect in this case, case uh, Cleotha Abson, uh, have been added for first-degree murder and first-degree murder in perpetration of kidnapping. Uh, now, Last night, uh, Dana and Bill, I was out at the scene in South Memphis, and you could see the writing on the wall. Uh, police weren't saying much about what they were looking for, what they had uh, in this residential neighborhood, but the uh, but the amount of officers that we saw over there, uh, you know, sort of. Uh, 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 sort of led to the fact, uh, led people to believe that they did find uh, Fletcher in, in this area. Again, they have not said what her cause of death is, but uh, police have said all along uh, in an affidavit that they believe that Fletcher um, sustained serious uh, bodily injury when she was uh, running on the campus of University, uh, on the uh, University of Memphis campus, and uh, this man just came up and aggressively uh, attacked her and pulled her into a vehicle. Now, we, we've been outside of uh, the courthouse this morning. We're hearing uh, that absence uh, court appearance today has been canceled. We've been inside uh, trying to work some of our sources inside to see if we can get more information on that. Uh, those details are scarce right now. We're working to see if that hearing uh, will happen today. But uh, again, police have confirmed uh, the body that they found in a residential neighborhood in South Memphis yesterday is Eliza Fletcher. Mm -hmm. New charges added to uh, to the suspect in this case, abstinent. And again, guys, uh, the, the evidence, uh, everyone is presumed innocent until proven guilty, but the evidence that police presented in the affidavit uh, seemed to be, uh, seemed to overwhelmingly point to absent in this case. Uh, you mentioned it, Dana. Dana they uh, pointed to the fact that a cell phone belonging to the victim pinged in the area uh, where Fletcher was running last Friday on the University of Memphis campus. Also, uh, the items that were left behind uh, at the abduction site, a cell phone, uh, as well as a pair of sandals that were later sent to uh, state investigators who linked them to absent through DNA. He, of course, uh, has a history of kidnapping. He was convicted in 2000 uh, to more than 20 years in prison for kidnapping a Memphis lawyer and, uh, and, and holding him at, at gunpoint, driving him around the city for hours until that lawyer was uh, finally able to uh, alert a security guard and get some help. So, uh, you know, uh, again, he has a history of this, and it appears uh, after being released from jail uh, less than two years later, uh, he, he's done it again, uh, uh, allegedly, at least. Dana? Charles Watson, thank you, and our condolences to the family as they get this news.